Hello friends, hope you are doing good. In this session, you can see here like how to automate the process in PyCharm. Plus, we don't need to use this command. So, we can just use this one here directly. Run and pause and stop like this way. So, right now you can see here like we are using PyCharm's terminal to active the Odoo service. So, let me stop here and go to front end side and trying to refresh the page. You can see the service is not available here now i'm going to here in pycharm let me minimize this one let me go to here in configure and there is no configuration is available right now you can click to this plus here in python then after you can use your project name here so all right so you need to give here the project name whatever you are working so let's say right now I'm working in Odoo tutorial and here like script path. So here the script path we have to mention that Odoo bin file. So we have to click here and we have to choose this one Odoo bin and trying to click open this one. So you can see like this after like which interpreter we are using. So we are using this virtual environment here. Also, you can see other virtual environments plus right now my recommendation is whatever you created just use that one here let me go to in terminal so you can see here like while we execute like we have to active py uh, odoo service we are using this python odoo desk bin and here we are providing some parameters right so those are the parameters so we have to mention these parameters here like add-ons path add-ons then after minus r odoo minus w odoo that's it after you can see now this one automatically managed by pycha you can see this odoo desk bin file we already provided here in the script path right so now we do like uh, now pycharm use this python version to execute this file with this parameter so we don't need to do anything here i'm just trying to apply click to ok now you can see here this two button is visible plus you can see here in this terminal we also stop the service let me minimize this one so now now onwards we don't need to do anything simply we choose here the specific project and we have to click this one this run button okay so what pycharm automatically execute the python version then after it will automatically use this provided odoo bin file and provided system parameters here whatever we are using so you can see it's automatically executed and let me refresh the page now you can see it's active the service so we didn't do anything right like we don't need to always remember or we don't need to always write like python or specific python version then after space or do bin space then after some parameters so here like it will automatically manage by pycharm plus you can see here like there is a one option like let's say you did some changes in pycharm or in views and you want to restart the service you can see this button like this and you can see here stop and return it stopped and now you can see it successfully restart the service and let's say refresh the patch So like this way you can automize your Odoo service using PyCharm plus you can also stop this service like this. So if I'm going, I'm going to here in browser and trying to refresh you can see the service is down right now. I mean the stop right. So you can see like this plus if you want to run one more time you can just click here. and you can see the service is active 
so recap this session here like first we need to stop manual things here first we need to configure properly in this configuration in this wizard here we have to provide the odubin location then after whatever you are passing the parameter you have to copy paste here from the terminal plus like let's say like many developers using configuration file then you can they can just use like this your config file that's it so they can use also like this way and the last thing is make sure the python interpreter like you have to always select the specific python interpreter here and trying to click to ok and apply button apply and ok button here and then after you are good to go so i'm just stop this service plus this button is very useful while debug your code but right now i'm not talking about this one we will see in our later discussion how to debug a specific python code so that's it for now in case you have any doubt related this automation process in pycharm please comment below and see you in next session